Good evening from the Lake Orion Field House. We have Unified Basketball. I am Matthew Corgan, joined alongside my colleague Kyle Perry. Kyle Perry, what do we have in store for today? I mean, it's Unified Basketball. Nothing much better than Unified Basketball. You can see the crowd here in the Field House. Absolutely amazing show out for students, parents, fans of this great game. And I think it's going to be really fun to watch. I agree. It's a rivalry game. It's Lake Orion versus Clarkson. I think it should be a good one. And it looks like we have 10 more seconds till tip off. It's about to start. And there it is. Starting for the Lake Orion High School Unified, we have Kamari Doris wearing number 31, Adele Kurlianchik wearing number 43, Mercia Bishop wearing 45, and Dom Novak sporting two with an addition of Will Hoffman wearing number 20. For Clarkston, we have Gavin Lumetta, who is number 11, uh, Brady Kujala, who is wearing number 22, Drake Ditkowski, who is wearing 30, Cassidy Serene, who's wearing number one, and Lena Richardson, who is wearing number five. It should be a good one, Kyle. Should be an absolute great one. Like you said, rivalry matchup plus unified basketball should be in for a great, great basketball game. Yeah, and one huge thing I'm noticing is the Clarkston has nine seniors on their team. That is ridiculous, especially comparing to Lake Orient's team. That is a lot more seniors. Absolutely, and you know, it may, it may turn out to be a factor in this game. I, I definitely think so. I think it provides the leadership that the teams need, especially with these close rivalry games. I think it adds to the momentum going into the game. We are approximately one minute from tip off here in the field house for this unified basketball game between the Dragons of Lake Orion and the Wolves of Clarkston. Yeah, there, there it is. The big, the big name for the Corn getting introduced, Kamari Doors. We should see plenty of him tonight. He is the Dragons' main scorer. It will be fun to watch him getting up and down the court, using his size, using his body to get to the rim. Kamari Doris is one of those heart and soul guys. I mean, he is absolutely a joy to be around. I know you've been around him a few times in school. He is an absolute joy to be around, an absolute great basketball player. He is. I, I interviewed him once, and you can just tell he loves the game. You know, he, he's he's very spirited about it. He just loves being around the game, and you can just tell by the way he plays that he just loves being out there, loves hustling, loves getting to the ball in the rim. You know, it, it's very good to see a young man like Kamari Doris who really involves himself in the game that he loves. And that's that true pride in unified basketball. You get you get an opportunity. To bring, to bring in the leadership class that Lake Orion and Clarkson have put together and bring the, the special needs world together and put them on a basketball court in front of fans and be able to give them that experience. And it's an absolute great thing to watch and it's an absolute great time. I 100% agree, Kyle. It, it is definitely a great program that they're building at both of these schools. It is exciting to see that everyone gets a chance to play the game they love. And Matthew, it looks like we are about to tip off. We are, as you see them shake hands in the middle, they are about to tip off. Looks like Kamari is going to be the Dragons. He has a little height advantage in the middle. He's going to be tipping against Brady Kujawa. All right. There it is. Kamari gets the tip off, but Clarkson receives it. Takes a shot. Oh, and, and already a block by Kamari Doris. Already. Look at him go. Already hustling to the ball. Oh, my. All right. Kamari takes Kamari down Doris. the court. Takes a pass, but goes out of bounds. It will be Clarkson ball. And I think he was looking for Marissa Bishop inside the paint there. Couldn't quite get there. It'll be Clarkson basketball. That's okay. I, I see what he did there. He tried to get it inside the paint, get an easier shot. I, I like what they're doing there. As Brady Kajala takes a shot. He's been involved in this game a lot already for Clarkson as Kamari takes it down the court and puts it up. Oh! Misses the layup as Clarkson gets the rebound, and they are taking it down the court real quick right now. Barely, barely. 
in and out for Kamari It's Lena Richardson who got the rebound right there, passes it. Looks like Drake Dikowski who gets it back. It's tipped around. Kamar's fighting for the ball as Oh, Brady Kajala, another big player, gets the first two points of the match. And you saw Doris get a little physical inside the paint yeah. there, but Kajala was able to come out with the basketball and give Clarkson an early two. It definitely was a huge physical play. Oh, Kamari gets the rebound, puts it up. There's Lake Goring's first two points by Kamari Doris. Big time bucket to tie the game up there for Kamari Doris. Finds, finds the basketball inside lane, easy two. Yeah, I, I like to sound surprised, but I'm just not. That's just what he does around here. And Clarkson. I think that's Passing Brady through. Kujala again. That's crazy. A lot of scoring already early into this game. Very much As so, Matthew. Dominic Novak takes it up the court, passes it. Kamari Doris misses. Gets a rebound. Lena Richardson with another rebound for Clarkson. And that is your first two-minute mark of this game. The subs will be coming in for the Lake Orion Dragons and Clarkson Wildcats, it appears. And if anybody is unfamiliar with unified basketball, usually in the setting, there are eight-minute quarters. Subs come in every four minutes. So it splits up every quarter. Usually there are two helpers on the court at the same time. Excuse me, it was six minutes. It's, yeah, every, every two minutes with a switch every two minutes. Uh, it looks like Nick France is in for the Dragons alongside Andrew Parker to help bring it down the court. Amber Gorski is also in there with Blake Lang and Ethan Kelch. As Nick France gets the first rebound and Ethan Kelch hooks it back in. Great offense shown by the Dragons. They're getting the rebound and putting it back up. Absolutely, Matthew. Great rebounding by the Dragons getting that bucket. Looks like Lena Richardson still in for Clarkson, helping out. Takes a deep three. That was a deep three by Ryan Gleanley. Looks like you're a little greedy there. That's okay, though. I like, I like taking big time shots as Amber Gorski takes it up, misses. And Lena Richardson gets the rebound once again for Clarkson, as I think that's her fourth rebound on the day. Brady Kujala launches a three, almost connects. This is, this is a crazy different style of play we haven't really seen in unified basketball before. As, as Blake Lee hits it, but goes again a little far that time as well, as for the fifth rebound for Lena Richardson. There's a stoppage in play. Looks like Clarkson will be subbing out now. They'll be getting Andrew Bedick in there along with Lucas Fallett with Patrick Gruc Gruca as well as the three main players. And you can see it driving down the court. Will assist there. Andrew Bedick puts it up. A little miss, Nick France with the rebound. He's taking it down the court. And as you said, Matthew, number 12, Madeline Caldwell is in there as well. Oh. Uh, Ethan Couch is the man who put up a couple shots there. Didn't, didn't get him to connect, but he got back on defense, playing good defense there. Got, it, got his hands up. That's, that's what you like to see from defense in this game. Get your hands up. You know, normally they drive towards the paint. So, you know, make sure you get your hands up. At least give a chance to block. And Kelch is not letting Fallot go anywhere. Great box out from Kelch. Yeah, this is great defense we're seeing from the Dragons. As he blocked it and stole it, but that is her second two-minute mark. Good defense by the Dragons. They're not allowing a single point to the Clarkson Wildcats. It is tied 4-4 going into our last two-minute interval of the first quarter for the Dragons now. Coming in, you have Claire McCarty. You have Corbin Smith. You have Braden Kapitsky. You also have Danny Akers as they score a bucket. Danny Akers, right as announced, they got a bucket. And you also can't 
forget about John. John Lucas, big part of this team. You know, John Lucas, along with Kamari Doris, is just the heart and soul of this team. Yeah. Let's talk about different play styles. I mean, a huge height difference, but both as impactful, arguably, on this team. It's Clarkson taking a couple shots, getting a couple rebounds. And Matthew, I've spoke with Corbin Smith before, who looks after John Lucas during third hour in our school days, and I mean, he has nothing but great things to say about John it, Lucas. Yeah. Just, he's an absolute joy to be around. Brings great, great attitude, great life to the classroom, and he is just an absolute treat to be around. Yeah, as Corbin Smith gets it stolen. That would be Lucas Fowl with the steal as he puts up a shot. No good, a little left. Corbin Smith with the rebound, taking it down the court. It stopped. Claire McCarty puts up. Oh. Close. It's the rim, but gets her own rebound. She's going for it again. A little right that time, a little short as well. Braden Kapitsky helping out a little. Giving it oh, to and here John, comes Lucas. John Lucas. It, this is what we're talking about. It, Oh. oh, a little short, a little too high, but they got the rebound and gets another chance. Oh. oh, a little short that time. Clarkson will get the rebound. That is Patrick Gruca, who is taking it down the court, helping the Clarkson. They get a shot up, and it is good. Isaac Kwan, great play by him. As the like Corman Smith just chucked it up. That is the end of the first quarter. It's a tie game, six to six. A good amount of offense and a good amount of defense. So that's good to see, Kyle, from these two teams, you know, playing good on both sides of the ball. Absolutely. And, you know, very tight ball game, and I think that comes along with rivalry games. You know, super, super tight through the first quarter, and I expect it the same, same way the next three. I 100% agree. It, and that, I feel like that's the Dragons, like, you know, that's their motto. They want to sub in players. They want to get them fresh. And I feel like that's just what they're good at as we are back into action into the second quarter. That's Caleb Titus. Caleb Titus playing lockdown defense. On Cameron Aiken there. Yeah. Oh, and it's getting physical as he gets the steal. What a great defense. Fantastic defense. Oh, and Clarkson steals it right back. Huge defensive game as of right now. That was Natalie Clarkson Molina. takes a long two, a little short that time. Matthew, I believe but, that was Natalie Molina with that big hustle play, getting that yeah. steal and back for the... And then field. Colton mine it for the big rebound. I mean, they didn't score, but it's good things to see. Oh, oh, and almost. And there it is. Lake Orion takes their lead. That is Caleb Titus showing his agility right there, getting his own rebound, getting it back up. That is good to see from Lake Orion Dragons coming into the second quarter as Clarkson throws it up out of bounds. It'll be Lake Orion ball. Absolutely fantastic play there by Caleb Titus. Like you said, getting his own rebound, getting it back up for the easy buck. Mm -hmm. That is Dom Novak who is taking it out for the Lake Orion Dragons, passing it back to Caleb Titus, passing it back to Dom Novak. They're doing a little, little assist action out little there. A little trickery there. Yeah. And then Dom Novak passes it back out. That is Adele Krojenczyk who misses. Clarkson gets the rebound as they're driving down the court. Mackenzie McDaniel takes it, passes out to Gavin Lumada. But Dragons steal the ball once again. Caleb Titus, what a game he's having right now. And Matthew, also out in that two-minute interval was Maggie Grant. Didn't find the ball, but she is a great, great player for this unified basketball team. Yeah, you can, you can just tell the impact she has on the court. As this is our first two-minute interval of the second quarter, looks like Andrew Parker's coming out along with Will Hoffman with Josh Shellswell. Josh Haguli and Marisha Bishop. Good lineup for the Dragons as we head into the middle of the second quarter. Josh Hugley puts it up, but can't get it to go. Andrew Parker with the rebound. Hugley back with it. 
Little right that time, Clarkson will get the rebound. Clarkson taking it down the court. Oh, and it's a big lob pass that Ooh. time. Misses, uh, and Will Hoffman with the rebound for the Dragons, taking it down the court. Fantastic. That's Hoogley again, but stolen by Clarkston. It's like Clarkston open out a good bit. To 10, that would be Natalie Molina. Puts it up, misses, but puts it up again, and that is good. Natalie Molina right before three minutes. What a clutch bucket to end their rotation. It is tied 8-8 once again. Such a back and forth ball game we're having, Kyle. Absolutely fantastic bucket by Natalie Molina squaring this game off with three minutes to go in half. And Clarkson summoning Sebastian Triskowski along with Isaac Kwan. And what? Wiley gives the main three coming in for Clarkson. Hoffman takes it up for the Dragons. It is Josh Seshwell who makes a bucket. Wow, an offensive explosion in the second quarter for both teams. Getting it up and down the court. As Clarkson takes it down, puts it up. That is good as well. Isaac Kwan using his Height to his advantage. What a game this has been. Matthew, extremely back and forth matchup. Now winding down on almost two minutes left in the half. Excited to see where this goes from here. Hoffman who dishes it. Miss it, but just well. And there it is again for two more as the Dragons take a 12-10 lead. That is back to back to back buckets in this game. Something we weren't expecting today. Clarkston. Puts it up, and, and another. another. Is Drake Deskowski at the buzzer once again? Back-to-back -back buzzers for Clarkston offense. It is crazy to see as it is tied 12-12 going into the last intermission of the second quarter. And Matthew, with two minutes and 22 seconds left in this quarter, it was 10-10, and in nearly 20 seconds, another four points were put on the board, and it is still all knotted up. Yeah, that is really crazy to see today. It looks like the Dragons are in Corman Smith, Nick France, and Kamari Doris as their main three. But you can't forget about John Lucas as well. It is a crazy good uh, rotation for the Dragons today. Should be a lot of points scored once again. And then in there for the Dragons now is number 10, Blake Lang. Clarkson put, what? Oh my God. What a bucket by Sebastian Truskowski. That nothing but net there. He sounded like Damian Lillard out there. And Matthew, you know it's time for that was a big time bucket for Sebastian that, Truskowski. That was, that was that was Kyle as Clarkson takes back the lead, 14 to 12. Clarkson getting back the ball. That is Truskowski. Faced off with Kamari Doris. That is what we love to see as he takes a huge three. Oh. A little short. But Clarkson's helper hits it off. Corbin Smith, what a, what a play by him. Oh, my. That, that is true awareness on the basketball court as Clarkson remains possession. Draskowski back with the ball, passes back. Drake Diskowski misses Blocked a little by Doris. Oh, yeah. Big defensive presence by Doris. Corman Smith rebound, taking it down the court. Passes it to Kamari. Oh. A little too hard, a little too much mustard. Passes it. Oh, and it, it looked like that was going in, but bounced out somehow. That was a good shot by Ethan by Blake Lang. Excuse Matthew, is there, a is there a piece of plastic that, over that? That looked like it went I, in and bounced out. That was crazy. The uh, rim not being helpful for the Dragons today as Kamari trying to block on defense. Corbin Smith with the rebound. Yeah, Corbin Smith takes it down as the Dragons are losing as Clarkson is beating them 14 to 12 in halftime. It's time to send it over to my great colleague Ben Shadle. 
Thanks, Matthew. And you know, you guys said it perfectly. Unified Basketball is such a big event that takes place multiple times around the clock during the year here at LOHS. You know, there's actually an event that's scheduled later in the school year. It's a fully dedicated assembly to the Unified Basketball program where our Unified team takes on another team from another school. I know all Dragon students and fans in attendance are looking forward to it. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Mr. Shadle. Matthew, you said it best. 14 to 12 game here, winding down on almost a minute left in halftime as we begin the second half. And what do you think the story's been? Oh, I think the story's been the official offense. Both teams have ran. You see Lake Orion getting eight point or six points in the second quarter, and then Clarkson responding with eight of their own. It is great efficiency, and defensively, they're both showing their true size and leadership on both teams. That's what I like to see from both like coaches, you know, coaching the teams right. Absolutely, Matthew. Winding down nearly 45 seconds before we resume action here in the Unified Basketball game. Fans, just a reminder, approximately 10 to 15 minutes after the conclusion of the Unified Basketball game, we do have girls varsity basketball that will be on a separate stream here on the NFHS network. Again, the beginning approximately 15 minutes after the end. Yeah, of and that should be a great game, game, just like this unified game is. Once again, it's against Clarkson. It'll be the same rivalry, and it should be fun to commentate with you again, Purdy. I can't wait, as it looks like they are coming back onto the court, ready for some second-half unified basketball action. It will be the same crew, Matthew. However, Shadle and I will be switching places as I will be down on the floor and Shadle will be commentating with you up here. Stay tuned for that. It's good to know. Here we go, All Matthew. Right. That is Madeline Caldwell with the first pass of the night. Of the quarter, quarter Matthew. Yeah. Um, Clarkson running around. Takes a shot, low left and short. Dom Novak with the rebound. He's taking it up the court for the Dragons. It's Dragons pass it. That is up, a little short. Sit back out. That is a little long. Clarkson with the rebound, taking it down the court. See Dom Novak getting back on defense. Colton Minute getting an assist out there. A little long though. Dom Novak with the rebound once again. As he passes it as Ethan Couch with a layup to tie the game. He has six points on the day. What a presence he has made himself. Arston. This ball now taking it down the court. Ethan Couch on defense playing very locked down right now. Nice pass. From Lucas Fallett. And Kelch has been an amazing defensive presence yeah. in the second quarter when he appeared on the court, just not letting anything by him. 100%. He has probably been my personal most impactful player of the game. This Carson getting a couple rebounds there, getting three shots up and another one. That is Madeline Caldwell with her paint presence and another one. You just keep getting rebounds. The Lake Orion Dragons need to toughen up that defense in the paint. And Couch says, no, thank you. Playing much better defense. There it is, Dom Novak with the rebound. Dragons finally get the ball back. Driving down the court. Amber Gorski puts it up. Oh. Very close, not good though, as that is the buzzer. Two minutes have gone by in your third quarter. The Dragons will be subbing out. Looks like Claire McCarthy is coming on along with Will Hoffman, Andrew Parker, Josh Hughley, and lastly, but not least, Danny Akers also on the floor for the Dragons. So they will remain, remain possession. And that is Claire McCarty with the shot already and gets it to go. The Dragons get their lead back, 16 to 14, coming off of a hot start in the second intermission of the third quarter. Absolutely, a big time bucket there from Claire McCarty, finding an open lane, getting that layup, and getting the Dragons the lead. And that's what I've been talking about, that efficient offense, just getting it down there, putting it up, perfect display of that. 
like Madeline Caldwell still in there for her paint presence as they get it up and they score. They tie the game back. That is Gavin Lumetta with the bucket. Will Hoffman driving down the court. Pass to Andrew Parker. Super important equalizing bucket there for Lumetta. Oh, 100% with how the close goal. this game is. That's Danny Akers who puts it up and it is in. The Dragons are on top by two once again. Oh, and there's the buzzer for Clarkston. It will be subbing out. Looks like Brady Cajal, who's been a big part, is coming in along with Ryan Gleanley. I don't think since the first few minutes of the first quarter, Matthew, we've had more than a two-point lead in this ballgame. Oh. It's been bucket after bucket. No, that's what you, that's what you expect from a rivalry game like this. Two good programs, Clarkson Lake going, battling it out. This is what we expected going into this. This is what we got. It's great to see. Absolutely, Matthew. That looks like Mackenzie McDaniel bringing it up the court for Clarkston. And Lake Goyne getting the ball back. That is Will Hoffman bringing it down the court for the Dragons. Passes it to Hughley. It's also been a big part of this game. Passes it back to Parker, who gives it to Claire. McCarty, oh, and it doesn't go. Very close to Claire. Gets the rebound. McCarty almost her second Passes it to bucket. Danny Akers. A little, a little too much mustard on that, but Hughley gets it back. Well, that's a little long two. Mackenzie McDaniel with the rebound, taking it down the court for Clarkson. And a little move, a little juke out there. And she passes it. So Brady Kajal, what a bucket. Ties the game up at 18 apiece. This has just been back and forth all day. Absolute fantastic. And a buzz. Err, beer, Claire McCarty. What a bucket. The Dragons bench is going insane. That is the third buzzer beater we've seen this game. Absolutely unbelievable shot from Claire McCarty, giving the Dragons the 20 to 8 lead with two minutes remaining in this third quarter. I am impressed by both teams. This is a crazy clutchness. They are both showing, going down game back in it, getting tied game back in it. It is crazy to see this amount of leadership in both teams. Absolutely unbelievable stuff from these two teams. And something to watch out for. Caleb Titus is back in the game, who has been a huge factor for the Dragons as he almost gets the rebound there. Cassidy Serene to bring it back in, passes it to McDaniel, who gives it up to Ryan Greenlee, who takes it, puts it up. A little short that, but Greenlee gets his own rebound. He's taking it, trying to take it back. Puts it up. Oh, oh, and that was really close to Nick France with the rebound. He's taking it down the court. Titus, oh, he's wide open. There it is. There it is. And he is back. Eight points for Titus. That is great to see. He is having a big day for the Dragons. 22 to 18. First four-point lead yeah. since the opening quarter of this matchup. That is great to see for the Dragons. Getting on the right start. Goes short by Clarkson. Like going, gets the rebound, passes it to France. He's going to take it down the court. Josh Suswell with him getting down there. As France passes it. Jesswell has the ball around the free throw line, brings it a little in. It's getting dropped around. He gets he gets it back. Bring it up right next to the rim. He puts it up. Oh, oh. it almost gets it, gets it to go, but puts it back up. And yeah. there it is. Josh Jesswell. What a bucket. Extending the lead to six with five seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, and a huge block by Titus. He brings Titus. it back. He has a second. Oh. <laughs> he almost made that. Oh, what a what a quarter for the Lake Orion Dragons. I mean, absolutely, absolutely, Matthew. 24 to 18. Lake Orion extends that lead to six points. First time, like I've said, since the opening quarter that it has been within less 
or I should say more than two points. Fantastic stuff from the Dragons. And really both teams. High scoring game as we enter the fourth quarter with six minutes. Yeah, to you 100% have to give credit to both teams. This is definitely better offense than everyone expected. I mean, 42 points already with a quarter to go. That is great to see. Here's Sebastian Turk. Truskowski is starting with the ball, passes it. Clarkson taking it down the court. There's Natalie Molina. Puts it up again, and oh. almost, but she'll get a third attempt. They say third time's a charm. Not today, though. Corbin Smith with the rebound. Passes it back to Brandon Kapitsky. Gives it saddling. Kirchel <laughs> Kruhanczyk, who gets another bucket, extending the Dragons' lead to eight. Clarkson bringing down the court. Natalie Molina passes it. Oh, and we... We are absolutely familiar with the range on Truskowski. He is a threat to shoot the ball. We are, we are familiar. Oh, as Greenlee cuts back into that lead, making it only six once again. That is a very huge bucket going into the fourth quarter. They got stabbed away at that lead as Corbin Smith now as the ball passes it. Almost gets it to go, but Clarkson gets the rebound as they're taking it back down the court. Looking to deprive that lead once again. As Tchaikovsky, oh, and big defense being played. Looks like Richardson gets back the rebound. And Molina puts it back up again. Can't get that one to go, but gets the ball back. Puts it up again. A little right that time as the Dragons get the rebound. It's Corbin Smith who has the ball and puts it up almost. Corbin Smith back with the rebound. Oh no, good. That was, that was Hughley who's at it also big night, but can't get that one to go as we are almost to the first two minute mark. There it is, the first two minute mark of the fourth quarter. The Dragons will be getting subs in. And that looks like Kamari Doris coming onto the court for the Dragons. Just what they need to keep this lead. But Amber Gorsi and Blake Ling also on the court along with Dom Novak and Will Hoffman. Who, that, is a, that is definitely an older sub in. That, that's what you like to see going late into this game for the Dragons. That is absolutely what you love to see out of these games, Matthew. Yeah, Kamari taking it to the paint. Gets a layup up, and good. Kamari Doris already with two more points in the fourth quarter. Dragons up eight once again. It's Clarkson taking it down the court. That is Tr Truskowski back at it. He's at the three-point line. Shows his dribbling skills. Molina takes it back. It's a little behind the bucket, but passes back out to Truskowski. Puts it up. Oh, and that was close to going in, but Kamari Doris gets a little fast break going. He's going. He passes it to Gorski. What a pass. A little high there. The King almost gets it. Clarkson with the rebound. As Wiley Gibbs. Gives it back to Molina, who's had a ton of attempts. Can't get that one to go. Hoffman with the rebound. And that is another intermission sub for your Clarkson Wildcats. Looks, looks like Madeline Caldwell coming back in for the Dragons, or the Wildcats, I should say, as she has had a ton of rebounds today. Looks like Dragons starting with... Oh. Well, Dragons, Hoffman back in the paint. Like Lang, too much left as Amber Gorski's fine for the ball. Clarkson with the break away. Break Shoa. Puts up and good. That is just what the Wolves needed. The Wolves. Big time bucket there from Brady Kujala. It's bringing the Wolves. Dom Novak bringing it down. Passes Blake. Ooh, a little too long, but Kamari fighting. But Clarkson gets the rebound. They are. Pushing the ball. There it is. Puts it up. No good. 
and that is good by Brady Kajala. Another huge bucket for him as they cut the lead down to four. And that is your last two minute warning for this basketball game. The Dragons will be getting more subs in. Oh, and there it is. Ethan Kelch is ready as he waves his hand in the air. He is ready alongside Caleb Titus who have arguably had the two biggest days for the Dragons. And don't forget the absolutely unbelievable Claire McCarty buzzer oh, beater yeah. to end there the it third is. quarter. Oh, and as you pronounce it, she makes a deep to Claire McCarty, showing her big time shooting ability tonight. I feel like I almost called that, Matthew. You did I, call it's it. Unbelievable. It's like Lena Richardson. Oh, Titus swine at the ball. Clarkson gets it up, no good. Nick France gets the rebound as he pushes the ball down the court. And that is good for Ethan Kelch. This is such a good rotation for the Dragons. Now they are hot right now as they bump the lead back up to eight as they only have a little over a minute left for the Clarkston Wolves trying to fight back into this game. Absolutely great bucket by Ethan Couch, finding the open man and getting the easy layup. 100%. As we hit the under a minute mark, Clarkson Wolves got to fight right now, very quick. Kind of taking their time. I like to see a little more, a little more as Dragons get the rebound. As Titus trying to go for double digits, and he has it. 10 points on the night. He has double digits and also increasing the lead to double digits. What a night he has had as the Dragons are pulling away with this one. Clarkson, though. Ooh, Titus Swan at the ball, and he gets the steal. He wants more. There he goes. He wants more for 12. And he, he has, has it. it. What a game. Big time bucket. Caleb Titus, 12 points. You gotta love it. There's 10 seconds left in this match. As Clarkson puts it up, but no good. And we are done here. Lake Orion, 36. Clarkston, 24. Ben Shadle, what do you got for us? Thanks, Matthew. You know, here tonight was an absolute slugfest. It was an absolute shootout. It was exactly what a lot of fans wanted to see out of this game tonight. Both communities, a big rivalry between each other, putting all that aside here tonight for a bigger cause. After now, we have the varsity girls basketball team warming up for their game against Clarkston, and it's going to take place very, very soon. Back to you guys. Thank you, Mr. Shadel. And like Ben said, approximately 10 to 15 minutes, we will have the Lake Orion girls varsity basketball game as they host the Clarkston Wolves here at the Dragon Fieldhouse. This has been Kyle Purdy and Matthew Corrigan. Tune in for the girls' dragons varsity basketball game. And so long until then.